speeding on a zip line, reading a book, playing a musical instrument, eating your favorite meal. These are just a few activities that humans like to do, and none of them would be possible without the different systems of the human body interacting with one another. Let's start with the circulatory system. It's made up of a large network of vessels that carry your blood everywhere, from your brain to your toes. Did you know that if you stretch out all of your blood vessels in one line, it would go around the world more than three times? Why do we need blood? Well, blood transports vital things like oxygen and food to your cells. It also carries away things your body doesn't need, like carbon dioxide and other waste. The engine driving the circulatory system is your heart, which pumps your blood through all of those blood vessels. Did you know your heart beats about 100,000 times each day? In an average lifetime, that turns out to be more than two and a half billion heartbeats. What kind of doctor specializes in the heart? A cardiologist. Now let's dive into the digestive system. As you eat, the digestive system breaks down the food you eat into smaller parts your body can process as fuel. As soon as you take a bite, the act of chewing and the saliva in your mouth begin to break the food down into smaller pieces. Food then moves through the esophagus and into the stomach where the digestive process continues. Then, food moves into the small intestines where it's broken down into microscopic pieces that blood can carry to all parts of the body. The large intestines help store whatever is left over until it's ready to leave the body. What kind of doctor specializes in the digestive system? A gastroenterologist. The skeletal system is made up of your bones, all 206 of them. They provide your body with support and help protect your internal organs. Look at a chicken bone. Does it seem like it was a living, growing thing? Well, it was. Bones are made up of living cells that grow and repair themselves. The largest bone in your body is the femur, or thigh bone. The smallest is the stirrup, behind your eardrum. It's a bit longer than the head of a pin. Here's a question for you. How many muscles do you think the human body contains? 100? 200? 500? Actually, the muscular system is made up of over 600 muscles. Every time you take a step, you're using close to 200 of them. Some muscles have voluntary control, like when you raise your hand or swing a bat. Some muscles have involuntary control, like when your heart beats or when you take a breath. What about when you blink your eyes? It can be either voluntary or involuntary. You can blink whenever you want, but it also happens without even thinking about it. What kind of doctor specializes in bone and muscle medicine? An orthopedist. The central nervous system helps direct many of the body's functions. Think of it like a mission control center. Your brain is constantly receiving information from what you see, hear, and touch. It responds by sending messages at up to 100 meters per second through a column of nervous tissue called the spinal cord and then through the body's nerve network. What kind of doctor specializes in the nervous system? A neurologist. These systems work together when you're doing any activity, like this skateboarder. His brain is issuing commands through the nerves that are connected to the muscles, signaling them to move. The muscles are connected to the bones in the skeletal system, supporting his body as he moves. Meanwhile, the digestive system is breaking down food he's eaten to give his brain, muscles, and bones nutrients, which the circulatory system is delivering around his body. So the next time you're doing something, anything, think of all the different body systems that are hard at work to support you. <laughs>